smartandrelentless.com. You know, the word of God says you, you have not because you ask not. And I know some of you will say, oh, sir, we've been praying, but you see, there are prayers and there are prayers. God said in Jeremiah 29, verses 13 and 14, Jeremiah 29, 13 and 14, he said, You will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. I have seen prayers. I've seen prayers, particularly among Londoners. <laughs> I have seen sophisticated prayers. The prayers of ladies and gentlemen, you know. Oh Lord our God, I know you are there in heaven and uh, uh, don't forget I'm here, you know. God, I hope you understand. Oh yes, he does. I'm talking the kind of prayer that people pray when they are in the labor room. Uh, <laughs> there are no ladies and gentlemen in the labor room, particularly when it is almost time to push. I'm talking of the kind of prayer that Hannah prayed when she was when she when, when she was in the agony of her soul and she was she was running away in the spirit that was the kind of prayer and i will just give you an illustration and then we'll we'll practice a little my father and i my father and the lord and i and four others went to the u.s in 1979 went to Tulsa to attend Kenneth Higgins camp meeting and we stayed in an hotel called Mayo Hotel and then one morning very early in the morning during the uh, camp meeting Papa called us, all of us into his room he has been praying and we all got into his room and he dropped a bombshell the old man said well uh, my work is almost finished. I'll be going now, soon. And then dramatically he turned and said, pointed at me and said, that's my successor. And then you woke up one morning just thinking you are going to a conference to enjoy yourself and somebody told you <laughs> that your career is ending and a new one is beginning. You don't pray a gentleman prayer when you hear that. So I was flat on my face, everybody else, we were all praying. And I mean praying. We couldn't stop. The prayer just went on. Until suddenly somebody came and knocked at the door. And I went to answer him because I was nearest the door. And he said, what kind of instrument are you people playing? We say instrument, yes. We are not playing any instruments. We are, pl we are praying. He said, no. He came in. He looked under the bed. He looked in the wardrobe. And so when he got to the door to go, he was seriously puzzled. He said, what do you say you are doing? We said, we, we, say we are praying. You are disturbing our prayers. So I said, why? What's the problem? He said, because the hotel is shaking. And we have traced the source of the vibration to this room. You don't have to believe me. All you have to do is go to Tulsa. That hotel is still closed down till today because they searched everywhere for whatever could be causing the vibration and they couldn't find it and they won't believe that it was ordinary prayer that shook the hotel. Did you like the video? Go to smartandrelentless.com to see more life-changing and inspiring content smartandrelentless.com 
We are the light of the world.